there are parts of uh, Beast Mine that a lot of people don't even know the severity of. Because the thing, the thing that eats, right? And it's kind of complex, but not really. It's pretty simple, actually. The beast mind is operating through what we would call ego. And it just wants to eat. It wants to eat loose, our energy, right? We see it manifesting in the form of uh, what they call higher dimensional beings sitting outside and like drinking up emotions as they are produced. The more severe version of that is traumatizing children and oxidizing, uh, adrenalizing the blood and then physical counterparts of the minions or demon creatures actually drink blood and then the spiritual counterparts sit a dimension removed and they drink the spiritual essence that's produced from that. Those are the more severe versions. The lesser severe versions are what we see when we see someone having an outburst at somebody else, some sort of emotional outburst. That's the much lesser uh, version of the phenomena here on this mortal coil realm. But, uh, the more severe version of it, it, the, the mask starts coming off, right? It hides that entity that it wishes to eat. Lush hides at first. But as it starts becoming starved, as people learn how to control and regulate emotions, this entity, which only lives off of basically stealing this, this stuff, it starts to starve, right? And so the mask is gonna come off. It's gonna come more and more off and you'll see the people that are acting as hosts for the entity, you will see through their thoughts and words and actions, you will see this thing start to reveal itself operating through them. And you're gonna see this in this whole coronavirus bullshit because the coronavirus bullshit is just about the beast thrashing and tossing and turning and not wishing that it's dying, right? I don't even think it has any mind to worry about that it's dying. It's just a blind impulse to steal energy. So it's not like an intelligence you can communicate with. So in my opinion, right? In my opinion, all this silly shit you see on the news, it just, it's all a cover for the beast, the beast mind system dying. It's running out of food. And for instance, people like me, right? We have learned how to calm that inner storm which produces the thing which the thing eats, right? So if you don't produce any more food for it, then you aren't even in danger by talking about it because it can't see you anymore. There's nothing left to eat. And you could say at the same time, that's, it's, that's nothing different than what we would call enlightenment because you're burning out the, you're burning out the chaff or the, the dirt. You're burning out the, the impure elements of creation, which is the stuff of ego. That's the impure part. Yeah, it's invisible. There's the visible things that you see with your eyeballs, it's like uh, what Aurora says, like the, obser the observer effect, which you have, that's part of your power. You, you look out with your eyeballs, and you actually are helping to form what you see. You bake <laughs> the world into some sort of position as you're walking and roaming through it. And most of us are so far removed from our true selves that we have no clue that this could possibly be happening. We have zero clue about it. So we fall. If you're not controlling yourself, as the age old saying goes, something else is. Most likely a something else rather than a someone else. And you have to also remember fucking machines are everywhere. So beings that have machines doing their bidding, there are loose collecting machines, there are 
uh, soulless creatures running around. There's all kinds of shit. So if you're not in control of yourself, someone or something else most certainly is. Because nobody's just running around bouncing off of things randomly. Some people are. You see crackheads doing this type of behavior sometimes, but it's not common. For the most part, someone's going for some sort of reason. Like the trucker's moving forward. So Most people are motivated by money. Most people are very confused right now because their main motivation, which is money, has been pulled away from them. So they're, so these masks are going to be coming off. Big time. <laughs> you, we've already seen it. I see it already. Already. I had someone, my one of my good friend's sisters, unfriended me today because of that post I made about sharing with uh, people who are less fortunate. She sent me a message that said, please don't tag me in these things and I earn my money on how anything else I don't have nothing else for anybody else and you know she couldn't she can't do it she, she can't even handle that thought so she had to unfriend me We are still on start. So she had to unfriend me, which is, it's what it is. Like the masks are gonna come off. This, this thing that just eats energy, it masquerades as uh, being compassionate or being human, but it is not. Ain't any such thing. So we are going to see uh, as people have pressure put on them, like I was telling Andrea, you're going to have two options in most choices. You will have the option to react and protect your ego, like how my friend's sister did. And I'm not judging that position, that's probably a normal sort of position to take for most people in this realm. You're either going to do that or you do the spirit. You do the God path, which is you just remain open and give if you can. uh, At least give energetically if you can. And then let it go. Those are your two options. The people that are making movements to protect ego, if they knew what that actually was and what it looked like in the long run, they would try to take it back. But if you're not there yet, you can't see it. You cannot see it. The parasite completely blinds, fully blinds you. It's exactly the same as a mosquito numbing the skin before it sticks the proboscis in. The parasite that wants to steal all the emotional energy or or louche, it numbs everybody up first. And then it gives them soothing little things in their ears that tell them you know, you were, you worked hard for your money and, you know, you need to support the economy. Uh, you know, look at all these things that you have to pay for. You got your mortgage, you got your bills, you, you know, you can't be responsible for all these people that, you know, they, they have not been working hard enough. You cannot be bothered to, you know, that's bad. Fucking communist, by the way. That's not American. This type of stuff, these sweet little nothings will be whispered in your ear. And that's what it is. I know that's what it is. I'm not like making a, I'm not trying to make a hypothesis here. I know for sure exactly, literally, that's what it is. And on the, the deeper levels of spiritual warfare, you will have people and beings that you think are your family and friends actually like trying to lunge at you and like you will see manifest physically 
them trying to steal your shit <laughs> or you know trying to steal somebody else's stuff whatever you call this stuff this this invaluable stuff that everybody's after or all the beings are after they're after the luge they're after the the elixir of life all these things right you will see at some point the the actual spiritual warfare with your own sort of spirit eyes so you don't see it right now you see like people running around walking around in buses and shit like that but this whole retarded covid thing is just precursor to what's coming <laughs> right so it gets really nasty uh but at the same time in duality everything has a counterpart so to all that nasty shit and the, these rapacious beings and all that there is a counterpart of like pure spirit always which does come and heal the broken ones and all that stuff and no it's not connected with if you're a good enough person or any shit like that everybody gets healed at some point that's all i have to share for now uh, i hope everyone's doing it well and take care of your people if you can and if you can't don't be scared to share that you could use some help all right peace